Tonight, the Carter Wask Award for Applied Art and Design celebrates British Columbians who creatively contribute to the cultural and economic fabric of our province. It's my honor to invite Dr. Joseph Wask to join me on the stage and offer the final word. Joseph Wask. Thank you. A timeless debate often puts art versus design. Tonight we celebrate them as a couple. It's not a matter, as one of my teachers, Gene Houston, used to say, of either or, but both and much, much more. The fine arts, the pure arts, like mathematics, pure mathematics, does exist as its own discipline, or anti-discipline, I suppose. It's often described as a rather an intuitive, even a mystical experience. The artist, the fine artist, the free artist, the pure artist, operates more perhaps as a shaman, as a revolutionary, as an anarchist even, as a transformer and, and a lover. Whereas the applied artist's work is more often thought of as domesticated, as tamed, as practical, as ritualized. Perhaps the, the greatest champion and master of applied art and design was William Morris, the author, the designer, the printer, and the seller of this book from the Kelmscott Press 130 years ago. It's as if he is here in the room with us, having conceived, printed, and held this very volume. One of his f most famous statements, if you want a golden rule that will fit everything, this is it. Have nothing in your house that you do not know to be useful or believe to be beautiful. I heard that so many times and one day I stopped, why is he making two statements? Know to be useful, believe to be beautiful and I realized they are two different things that he has brought together as we have brought together tonight, the art and design. No means to understand. It's a rational idea. It's logic. It's most often related to practical design. And believe is more transcendent, intuitive, the pure art. Those who we celebrate this evening are among the few, the rare, the best who are both artists and designers, mystics and manufacturers. You are the hybrid few who bridge both worlds and allow the rest of us to cross between otherwise unreachable dimensions. We are thankful for your labors, your struggles, and your victories. Together you have made a better, more practical, and a beautiful world. All the rest is commentary. We will leave here tonight inspired by nature in general, and by you in particular, to share our good fortune with others, with the winds and the waves, with all creatures great and small, with those who have words to express their appreciation for your work, and with those who merely use your applied art and design because it was just the right color, it was practical, it fit the hand in an elegant way, or it made us look beautiful. Thank you for sharing your heart your hand, and your soul with us. 
Congratulations on being recognized by the community. Thank you.